Remember this video I did of a guillotine in Puerto Rico's Black Lives Matter protest a couple of weeks ago? It seems the protesters in Seattle that supposedly created their own country are right now terrorizing anyone they can, and they are actually right now promoting the use of guillotines. Check this video out. Has anybody here ever heard of the French Revolution before? That is another revolution because people started putting property over lives. They started putting money over people. Does anybody here know what happened to the people who did not get on board with the French Revolution? What? Say it louder. Say it louder. That is the message we need to send. We are serious. This is not a joke. I am tired of seeing my people be genocided by every definition of the word. Now, for those that thought many years ago, and even to this day, that my guillotines in USA page on my website or my guillotines in USA radio broadcast of years ago was a pack of lies, well, what say ye now? I mean, many of the emails I received back then claimed this is a modern society that we live in, and no one's going to be okay with the use of guillotines at all. Yet, just to mention a few out of dozens of articles and videos I have on my site about the government pushing the use of guillotines, what about the fact that all along, we saw talk of guillotines in the media for many years now. Remember the botched executions in 2014 and how they used that to push the guillotine narrative back then? I did a video on that as well. We have even seen the state of Georgia put forth a bill demanding the use of guillotines in their prisons way back in 1996. And what about Barack Hussein Obama making sure guillotines were written into Obamacare. And just to mention a couple more, what of the federal judge calling for the use of guillotines in executions not long ago? Or what about all the talk about using guillotines to make it easier to harvest the organs of the people that they're killing? I mean, after all, they know if they use lethal injection or even the electric chair, they're not going to be able to make money with the poisoned organs or the fried organs. So that all being said, why do you suppose the talk of guillotines is being normalized the last few years? And especially now that we see the birth pangs of civil war. And then, of course, martial law. So as to easily bring about a socialist form of government in the USA, wherein the mark of the beast will be enforced. I mean, why is all this happening? Well, it's as I stated years ago to those that scoffed when they heard my radio broadcast regarding the fact that there were over 30,000 guillotines on U.S. soil back then. All you got to tell them is Christian prophecy is that accurate. All that we see regarding the guillotines is simply to normalize the thoughts of using them in the public eye so as to bring about that which was prophesied 2,000 years ago. Check this out. Thank you for watching. God bless.